Sorry about that. We had an interruption on the intercom there. So um, clean my brush out. And I believe I'm ready to go. Got a little bit of green on my paper there. Okay. So again, I still use my flat, flat brush. The color that's listed first is the base color. Um, my warm has a little bit of red in it, so I'm trying to try to work on the other side that uh, doesn't have that red. And I'm going to load that paintbrush up. Okay. I'm going to paint my warm. Now I've noticed as I'm painting with this warm yellow, it is very thin, which means it's going to dry really fast. So you may have to work a little bit faster with that. I'm going to do nine swatches. I'm going to go back. I'm going to put some more yellow on there because I can already see it's drying. I'm not going to rinse that brush out. I'm going to get my, my round and I'm going to load it up with as much violet as I can. Get a dot. to work a little fast here because I've noticed this color is drying really fast. So. Okay. okay. I'm not going to rinse that violet off that because I might have to go back. But I am going to try to mix quickly. Again, this is not the prettiest color. You should get an almost brown, bluish, brownish, greenish gray. <laughs> Any of those are colors. If as you're going, you notice that things are drying out, then getting really fuzzy around the edges then your paint's drying out and you need to redo it okay so there's my color we have a pretty good progression I think I do want to come back and add um, a dot to this one and a dot to this one and a dot to that one now I didn't add more dots because I don't think it needs it it's they were pretty close I am gonna wipe the extra violet off of there all right so there is that one I'm gonna clean again And my water is, I can still see through it just a little bit, but I'm probably going to clean it out after the next one. Okay. Dry it with my paintbrush. Now I'm going to mix warm blue with orange. So warm blue is my base color. Use my flat. Warm blue is a really thin paint. I can tell, how I can tell it's really thin is that the paper, white paper starts showing through really quick. A, th a good thick paint, it won't do that. Now it doesn't really matter that the paint is gritty. I think that's just the paint getting old to be honest. Um, I don't know if this is one that I ordered last year. It still should last longer than a year. Um, but, but this might have been one that I ordered before we got out for COVID, but like I said, it still should last longer than a year, so I don't know. But Anyways, we're here. We're painting with it. I want to add more paint on top of each one so that it doesn't 
dry on me. Okay, dry that extra off. We're gonna do the orange this time. I'm gonna load my paintbrush up with the orange, around, do the dots. Not wanting to come off my brush there. Again, this is another beautiful color. Being sarcastic, this is another color that doesn't come out so pretty, but it helps you see what different, how, how mixing different colors and what they should look like, or what they are supposed to look like. And that's six on this one. more in that one. I notice my blue is drying in that one. I hope I can use it. If not, I'll show you what to do. Okay, I'm gonna mix. Remember, I'm mixing fast because the paint will dry. It may have already dried. I'm not mixing with the orange brush. This one may have a greenish tint to it because we are mixing a little bit of, okay. So that's what we come up with that one. I'm gonna clean my water out real quick. All right, so I got new water. them so they dry okay now this one uh, number 11 is warm red with green my green remember we did the warm blue and the cool yellow so I'm gonna get my warm red here which is the lighter red and I'm loading it up because the first color is the color you paint on the bottom This paint is a little bit thicker. You can tell as you're painting it, you don't see the white paper showing through as much, so it is a little bit thicker. Um, I am gonna go over it and just make sure I have enough paint on there. All right, okay, I'm gonna wipe the extra off and I'm gonna put that, actually, nope, remember I'm not gonna wet that paintbrush. Get my round, I'm gonna load it up with the green. I don't know if y'all just heard that horn honk. They're pouring some concrete here at school, so they're almost right outside the window. Now most of these colors that you've been doing, the warm yellow and the violet and the warm blue and the orange, all of those are complementary colors. So uh, they are across from one another on the color wheel. And colors that are across from one another on the color wheel when mixed together typically make a brown, brownish color, uh, which was why you were getting most of those colors when you were mixing. So um, now if you mixed a primary, uh, Oops, that one should have been five, sorry. I missed that one on the other one, okay. Uh, a primary um, yellow and a, and a violet and a secondary violet, then it would create a truer brown, but, um, but these are you know different warm and cool tones, so they're gonna create different browns and grays, grayish browns and that sort of thing, so. 
Wipe the green off of there. Take my red and I'm going to come back and mix. Whenever I was in art one class in high school, I always had trouble mixing browns. Um, it was a long time before I got that concept down pretty good. Now I, I have it, but it just, I don't know, it's just one of those things that. I didn't get right away. So and a lot of times when you're mixing these browns, uh, these colors, they're not the true browns that you've seen that when you buy paints. Um, actually you saw me go backwards and I should not have gone backwards so I don't want to teach you the wrong way. Um, but you can see that it's definitely changing color. I probably need to go and add more uh, green to this one because uh, it these all kind of seen the same color so I'm gonna add a little bit more I'm gonna wipe that green off on my paper towel okay so there is my my warm yellow, warm yellow with violet, and that's parentheses. This is number nine. Number 10 is warm blue with. Teachers, uh, if you have any students with you, I'm being told that ACT scores are up. Uh, they can check those scores now. Thank you. All right, so it is March 26th, and Mr. Badgley just came over the intercom and said that ACT scores are up if you want to check those. Okay, so then you've got uh, number 11, which is warm red with green. Now, as I mentioned before, the way, like let's say for instance on the 11, I did warm blue and cool yellow. If when you get down here to number 12, number 12, you start cool red with green. If you want to mix a different green, that's fine. doesn't matter. Or if you want to use the same green, that's fine. If you mixed enough and you can use the same green, that's fine. It might be kind of cool if you mix a different green just to kind of see what it would come out like. Um, same thing with the orange on 13. If you want to mix a different orange than what you mixed over here uh, for number 10, that's fine too. If you have enough and you want to use that, that is perfectly okay. I just want to give you options. Then when you get to 14, um, you have cool yellow with violet. And like I said, if you want to use the same violet you did on number nine, that's fine. Now, once you get to 15 through 21, um, those are white is going to be the color that is the base color. And then uh, the second color are going to be the color that's the dots. Now, 15 through 20 are the colors that you already have that come straight out of the paint palette, the cool, I mean, straight out of the paint bottle, the cool blues, reds, yellows, warm red, yellows. When you get to 21 through 23, that's again when you have to mix green, violets, and oranges. Again, I don't care which two colors you use to make the greens, the violets, or the oranges. You just need to make sure that on your label that when you write orange, you tell me that it's warm red or warm yellow, okay? Um, I'm not going to mix all 23 of these for you on a video because that would be a tremendously long video, but I did want to show you what it was to mix your violets and what to do on that and what I expect on that. Um, I believe that is it um, for me to explain on this. Um, just let me know if you have questions. Okay, thank you.